Hello, my name is Pete Gerlach. I've been a professional family systems therapist for 31 years, and as part of that time, I've witnessed and experienced myself many people struggling with the breakup of a primary relationship. That may or may not be a divorce, but many of us who form bonds with other people have them break either because someone has chosen to break them or because of circumstances. Often it's difficult to tell if you have broken up with someone or they have with you. Are you done with the breakup? How do you tell if you're really done, quote unquote, uh, if you've recovered from the breakup of a primary relationship, whether it's a divorce or uh, not, especially if there are kids involved. Every situation is different and every situation has some common traits. The purpose of this video, which is one of a series on improving the relationships in your life, um, the purpose of this video is to offer you my opinion at least of some common signs or symptoms that a person has really quote recovered unquote from the loss or breakup of a primary relationship. This is important to know both for your own holistic health and for the sake of any kids that you're uh, nurturing and in particular if you're considering committing to a new partner it's important for you to know have you really recovered and or have they really recovered because blocked grief often can interfere with forming healthy new bonds as well as holistic health so here are some traits that signify, in my professional opinion, that any person, you or a potential new mate, or your ex-mate, has recovered enough. There's no finite end point, but there is not enough enough. Um, here are some traits to consider. Uh, this is not all inclusive, but I think it will give you at least enough to work with. By the way, when I say recovery from a breakup, I mean you have resumed normal life on two levels. One is personal and one is with the other relationships in your life. Those are the two zones that you can look at as far as a breakup recovery are concerned. Some common traits in the personal recovery zone are you or another person can feel and express all the feelings they have about the breakup. That goes hand in hand with saying you or the other person have grieved and accepted all your losses. Uh, there are specific signs that you can use to tell when grief is, quote, done or not. See the videos in my Good Grief Lesson 3 playlist right here on YouTube for a video on how can you tell when grieving is done. So that's the first trait. You or the other person show the traits of complete grief, which include being able to feel and express all your emotions. Sadness, anger, regret, grief, shame, despair, etc. Another trait of a breakup being grieved or uh, recovered from is the person, or both people, but you in this case, you, you are clear on why the breakup occurred and you're not in denial. You may need other people who know you to signify, I don't think you're in denial, I think you see it realistically. But that's a trait of true as opposed to pseudo recovery. I know why this relationship ended. As part of that, 
a personal trait of recovery is that you have genuinely forgiven yourself and your partner for any kind of hurts or betrayals or disappointments or frustrations. If you haven't forgiven yourself, if you still feel guilty or ashamed, and or if you have hostility and resentment and blame for your ex, whoever she or he is, you are not fully recovered. Another indication that you've recovered is that your finances have stabilized and returned to their state during before your relationship or during the best part of it. Your finances are now stable after any kind of dislocation because of the breakup. Another indication is that you or another person have no active addictions. That's a complex one. Take this with some salt because you may have an addiction with or without the breakup or the relationship. See my playlist on many aspects of addiction and addiction recovery, but I propose that a symptom of true, full recovery from a relationship breakup is at least you have no active addictions and ideally your ex doesn't either. Another common sign of genuine recovery is you have resumed normal eating and sleeping habits and your work and play and rest schedules have resumed stable normalcy. They are no longer out of balance. And people who know you well would agree that's true. So that's an indicator. Another one, another indicator is that you are not desperate for a new relationship. Some people, after a breakup, if their parents start to use their children, one or more children, as surrogate partners, that is definitely a sign you are not recovered from the loss of your relationship. Some people, after uh, a primary relationship fails, have spiritual adjustments to make. They may get angry at God, they may plead, they may feel ashamed. Their spiritual faith may be shaken. Um, so a sign that you have truly recovered is your spiritual faith, faith has resumed its stable uh, place in your life, in your holistic health. Um, if you're a parent, and the breakup means a, a divorce with your other parent or a step parent or a period. A sign that you have truly recovered is that you have resumed normal balance on taking care of your kids and yourself. You're not over focused on them, you're not over focused on you. And you're working to balance your relationship with the kids' other parent. That's a sign. A major sign, and the last one I want to offer here, is you, after a breakup with a key person, your mate or someone else, you have regained stable, realistic hope for the future, for yourself and other people who were majorly affected by the breakup. So these are a group of indicators there are others, but I would say these are major, primary, common indicators uh, that can help you determine, have I really recovered and or has my ex really recovered and or has my potential new partner really recovered from any breakup in their recent lives? You can also use a variation of these traits to try to determine, have my kids recovered from my slash our breakup? My overall point here, which I hope is self-evident, is 
there is a way to make a realistic estimate of whether you or someone else has restabilized and, quote, recovered, unquote, from the loss, or the ending, intentional or not, of a primary relationship in your life. I hope you find this useful and thought-provoking. Um, if you want a worksheet that uh, you can use to augment this video, here's the link to a worksheet in my nonprofit website. Lesson four in that website is about relationships, improving your relationships. So here's a link to a worksheet you can use that is similar to what I just said here. The worksheet is oriented towards trying to find if you have recovered from a divorce. Um, this video is a little more general. I do invite you to study more um, Lesson 4 videos. There are two groups of them here, um, as well as all 11, uh, 7 sets of videos in my YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments about the video, uh, or the related selfhelp.org self-improvement website, please contact, contact me either over YouTube or by email or phone. I'd be glad to hear from you. Thanks for watching.